Hi guys, so this is how you use uh, Easy Poser or Magic Poser, the web app version, uh, which is linked in your instructions. Uh, as you can see, I have a basic figure uh, brought in here. Uh, now, most of the narratives are going to involve multi-figure compositions, so you'll have to bring in other figures. Um, but you can, if you click on the figure, uh, you can kind of move him around uh, or her. Um, and uh, it'll also bring up this other menu. If I start monkeying with this kind of stuff, uh, and changing the position of the figure and everything, this bar goes away. But if I go back and click on center mass, it'll bring this back up again. You know, uh, I can rotate the figure, uh, change its positioning however I see fit. Uh, I can also grab separate joints and move them around. Uh, and let's see. Ooh, his foot's all backwards. So you can take things and kind of move them around and rotate them. There we go. So I'm dragging this. The uh, the triangles will rotate the limbs, uh, and the the ball sockets will kind of rotate on a pivot. So uh, you can click on individual parts, uh, and uh, you can get different hand positions, that sort of thing. Um, you can also bring in secondary figures, secondary characters. Um, and once again, clicking center mass, you can rotate those in you know, the face or whatever like that. These lines in the ground are perspective lines, so they're handy for laying out your composition. Uh, once you've got your, uh, your figures kind of picked out, you can kind of experiment around with different, like, hairstyles and things. Uh, you know, if I click on the head here, I can change his hairstyle. Give him Dragon Ball Z hair. <laughs> uh, what you'll do is you'll click preview. Um, and then you'll use your snipping tool, uh, which you can drag out here, put in your toolbar, or also type into the search window here. And uh, you type snipping tool, that'll come up here. Um, so you can do a new snipping. Um, and at this point, and for some reason it's not letting me record the snipping tool, so. Uh, when you click new snipping you'll just drag a little window around your scene and then it'll bring it up as a new window uh, as a, a jpeg or a png and you can save it as that way you can refer back to it when you're doing your drawing you can even print it out if you want um, so uh, this is how you're going to start by uh, by arranging your composition with your figures um, if anybody has any questions you can contact me via remind or send me an email uh, or even i think comment on the assignment uh, on in canvas so Good luck, and may the force be with you.